After the costly embarrassment of failing the notorious Elk test, does the new A-Class Mercedes-Benz finally go to the top of the class in terms of the more technical angles of engine design and safety? And in any case, what changes did they make to the original tipper truck version? Well, for a start, the whole car has been lowered slightly, 13 millimetres at the front and 10 millimetres at the back. It also has a wider rear track and greater understeer has been built in as well. The shock absorbers were changed and so too were the tyre specifications. But apart from those things, this is pretty much the original design. And let's not forget that where the A-Class is concerned, they pretty much started with a blank sheet of paper. And no doubt, after much scribbling and crossing out, the result has some incredibly ingenious design work incorporated. Let's go and have a look around. Cunningly, they've been able to make the interior space just four millimetres shorter than the C-Class version, from the back of the seats to the dashboard. But it's far more flexible. All these seats can be made to disappear. I'll come round and show you. Right, just three levers to play with here. Lever number one, back flips over. Lever number two, whole seat tilts up. Lever number three down here, and out comes the seat. Voila! Anyone for a minivan? The reason there is quite so much space is very clever, because down here, that's a false floor. Not the place to stash your family fortune though, because under there, you'll find most of the engine and transmission. And since that's below, it frees up the space in front for the passenger cabin. Because you're perched on top of what amounts to a sandwich of two floors, with the engine and gear train in the middle, the ride position is quite high, which gives better visibility all round. Side protection is also improved because the driver and passengers sit above the normal side impact accident zone. But the big safety advantage comes in the inconvenient event of a head-to-head -head smash. Front-on collisions account for almost two out of three accidents. Today, all cars have crumple zones designed into them to stop the engine penetrating into the passenger compartment. Nevertheless, a lot of injuries happen for precisely this reason. In the A-Class, not only is the engine and transmission housed partly in front and partly beneath the middle of the sandwich floor, they're also tilted at an angle, so that in the event of a crash, the whole lot slides downwards rather than straight back. The engines have also been specially designed for the A-Class and there are three versions. Two petrol, 1.4 litre and 1.6 which delivers 82 and 102 horsepower respectively. This is the 1.6 version and there's also a 90 horsepower turbo diesel which features something called direct injection common rail system. See what you think of this. Conventional high pressure injection systems have separate pipes feeding each cylinder. The Mercedes system uses a high-pressure pump that runs at a constant speed and supplies the fuel to the common rail pipe. This single pipe acts as a pressure accumulator and distributes the fuel to all the injectors while the electronic engine management controls the injection pressure depending on the engine speed and load. Oh, and whilst we're at it, there's also an optional electronically controlled five-speed automatic transmission, which happens to be the shortest and lightest of its kind anywhere in the world. So there. In fact, with the whole of the A-Class, Mercedes has pursued the concept of what they call intelligent lightweight design. It's based on the fact that a quarter of the weight of the car is made up of either aluminium, magnesium or plastic which is 30% lighter than conventional steel construction. They've also used a stronger type of steel than usual in the body panels, so that they could be thinner and lighter.
Now, this is the 1.6-litre five-speed manual with an added and rather surprising trick. You see, there's no clutch pedal. So when you want to change gear, you just lift your foot off the accelerator, the car senses that you want to change gear, and an electric motor operates the clutch for you. So you then just move the gear shift as normal. It's very strange at first, takes a bit of getting used to, but certainly saves your left foot, particularly in city centres. The A-Class is certainly a car of many letters. After all, it comes bristling with ABS, BAS, ASR and ESP, and you almost have to be psychic to work out what they all mean. First of all, ABS, well that's simple enough of course. It prevents the wheels from locking if you need to slam the brakes on in a hurry. BAS, brake assist system of course. If you make the brake pedal hit the metal in a hurry but not hard enough, the car does it for you. ASR, bit of a cheat this one, acceleration skid control. It prevents wheel spin during acceleration. All so riders will be disappointed. And finally, ESP. No, not extrasensory perception, but electronic stability program, which incidentally was added to the car after things went topsy-turvy. Basically, what it does is to take all the fun out of going round corners too quickly, or swerving to avoid, say, well, an elk, by braking the car or slowing the engine down. And we find that it cuts in quite early, but it's very effective. All in all, this is a little technological tour de force. Mercedes-Benz have clearly turned somersaults to make sure that this is finally one of the safest cars on the road. Safe, that is, unless your chosen profession happens to be an A-class crash test dummy.